Hey everybody, welcome back. On this episode, we're gonna install Euro Linux 9. Euro Linux 9.3. This is another uh, enterprise Linux uh, based uh, Linux system. So we're gonna go ahead and install it and see what it has to offer. So let's get started. All right, we're gonna set up our disk. That's done. Now we're gonna set up our root password. All right, that's done. Now we're gonna set up our user. That's done. Now we're gonna do one more thing. So in our software selection, we're gonna select workstation to make it a desktop. I'm not gonna ins install anything over here. Well, maybe I will. I'll do the known applications and the office suite. Leave it at that. Everything else, just leave it alone. All right. Now with everything set up right there. Oh, date and time. It's currently set to New York, so let me change that to Los Angeles. It's not something that's needed, but... I'm going to go ahead and set it. All right. Begin installation. So we're in the install process now, so this should take anywhere from 5 to 10 minutes. So uh, I'll see you back once it's fully installed. All right. We're back now. Installation has completed, so we're gonna go ahead and reboot and get into the system and see uh, what Euro Linux has. And we are rebooted. Gonna go ahead and log in. And we are welcomed by our welcome screen. Just a basic uh, GNOME uh, tour. So let's go ahead and take this quick tour. Start the tour. Get an overview. Make apps your own. Keep on top with workspaces. Uh, for those that have uh, touch screens, you got your, uh, your hand gestures, finger gestures. So you can uh, access features. And that's it. We hope that you enjoy Euro Linux 9.3. Riga. Okay, now that we see the tour, we're on a on our desktop and uh, we're using a GNOME desktop. And uh, as we know up here in the panel, we have our system tray, which is a yeah, combination button of your volume rocker, your internet connection, some settings, and your session manager. And in the middle, we have our time and clicking on the time displays a calendar where you can set up events. And on our upper left hand corner, we have our applications launcher. Clicking on it opens up uh, the dock on the bottom. And from here, get our apps. And we have some pinned items also. So let's take a look at these uh, apps real quick. Looks like we have video, calculator, text editor, settings, system monitor. Utilities, Cheese, Bracero, Evolution, Office Suite, SE Linux Troubleshooter, I'm not sure what that is, and the Tor, which we already saw. But let's start on our dock and check out the terminal. And we are using a known terminal. Yep, it's a known terminal version 3.40.3. Basic GNOME terminal. 
then let's get back to the dock and this is our help section so if you need help with anything regarding gnome you would click on it and pretty much should take you to where we need to go and then getting back to the dock again we have our software manager the gnome software manager and this one's running version 41.5 Let's see if uh, it's actually what we can get with our software manager. Let's see, can't get HTOP. Oh, okay. But NeoFetch. No NeoFetch. So let's uh, open up the terminal again and see if we can get apps installed using this. trying the DNF installer to see if we can install apps. Euro Linux is an enterprise based system so I believe DNF is the preferred installer. Either that or YUM. But we'll see what it's doing right now. While it's doing that, let's get back to the dock and let's take a look at our file manager. The file manager is uh, files, basic on GNOME systems, yep, 40.2. And that's your file manager. Got all your basic layout here. Got home, documents, downloads, music, pictures, videos, trash. Other locations, if you have plugged in drives, they would open up here. So that's your file manager. All right, let's get back to the doc. Let's open up our web browser, which is using Firefox. Opens up to the Euro Linux web page. Gives you some uh, information on Euro Linux. All right, let's see what version of Firefox we're using. Version 115.4, the ESR version. All right, looks like uh, no match was found for HTOP, so I guess HTOP is probably not uh, in their repository. How about NeoFetch? Let's see if they have NeoFetch. Yep, no NeoFetch found, so. All right, now let's look at the applications, and uh, like I said, they have the standards here. It's not really much. Because I didn't choose to install much, but you have Bracero. See, Bracero is a. If you still have a, a CD drive in your uh, on your computer, uh, Bracero you can use to you know copy audio CDs, data CDs, video CDs, your DVDs. You can burn images. You can do all that with uh, Bracero. And Bracero is running version 3.12.2. to the menu evolution I think this is a email program let's see yeah it is it is an email program so I just cancel that because I'm not trying to create an account or anything just want to open it up and show you what it has so you can set up your Google accounts or your Yahoo your email accounts and then uh, you can open them up with this program see what version of uh, evolution we got 3.40.3 right. and this is your email client all right back to the application launcher we have LibreOffice let's open it up to see what version of LibreOffice we're running all right LibreOffice 7.1.8.1 and that's your version of LibreOffice LibreOffice, you can open up any uh, office forms here on Linux. All right, We've got also videos. 
the standard GNOME video application or Totem or it used to be called Totem and now it's called just video alright so if you have uh, video files on your computer just click add location video or you can even add uh, web links for streaming video You got a calculator. Right now set up on basic mode, but you can set it up with different modes also. Advanced mode, financial mode, programming mode, keyboard mode. And pretty much does whatever your uh, basic calculator does. But let's see what version they're running. Calculator 40.1. All right, and that's your calculator. Get back to the application launcher. Oh, not the terminal. And we have our text editor, G Edit. Just a simple, uh, basic text editor. So if you want to edit some text, you would use G Edit. And G Edit version 40. To the application launcher SC Linux troubleshooter. I'm not sure what this is. Yeah, I'm not too sure what this is and what it does, but I'm sure it's a security fit uh, feature. But yeah, like I said, I'm not sure how it works. So, but it's there. If, you, if it's something you're looking for, it's there. We'll come back to the settings in a minute. Well, let's just open it up now. In the settings, you can uh, play with the settings for just most of the features you have in your computer, network, Bluetooth, notifications, you know, all that. Pretty much you can get in here and get into the settings and uh, access them. And do whatever you need to do with them. But here also we can get some system info. So as you can see here, we got Euro Linux. Euro Linux 9.3, it's a 64-bit system. Tells you the known known version. Shows you that it's using Wayland. Right, let's see what this does. Shows that it's up to date. All right, and that's uh, your settings. All right, back to the application launcher. Got our system monitor. Since we couldn't install HTOP, we can we can get all that info here too, just in a graphical uh, way. We have your resources. Top is your CPU, the middle is your memory and swap, and the third is your network. And it gives you a graph of uh, how much uh, how much you're using in each one. And the system monitor is version 40.1. Alright, now we have a tour, we already saw that. Utilities and Cheese. Utilities has more programs inside of it. So you have uh, your disk music and disk usage analyzer, disks, image viewer, document viewer for PDFs and things like that. Characters like emojis and smileys, screenshot tool, logs if you're looking for logs on your computer, and fonts. So you can set up custom fonts if you like. And we have cheese. Cheese is a it's a program to take pictures if you have a webcam or uh, something like that. Connect a camera to your computer. You can use it to take pictures or record video. And on about cheese, we have version 3.38.0. Alright, and that's cheese. Alright, let's see about theming on this system. I think we have to install GNOME tweaks. Let's go ahead and uh, set up GNOME Tweaks, install it. All right, that's done. Let's get into the tweaks. That way we can uh, we can get into our uh, customization as far as uh, themes and things like that. So 
So I'll open up this, see if I can make it smaller. Okay. Now let me open up a file manager just so we can, uh, we can see the changes that they take place. All right, animations right now. It says that they're on. Suspend laptop, lid is closed. Not worried about that. I want to just look at our games. It's only going to have two or three. Yeah, so we have it white or dark, high contrast, high contrast, inverse. Huh. Our cursor is just at white. Uh, icons, same high color. I guess high color and at white are the same. And then we have our high contrast. And then we have shell themes, which is not installed. Sound, it's default. Uh, that's pretty much your theming system here. I mean, you could add more themes because I got to get into the repos and all that just to get into the downloads. So yeah, it's pretty basic. It's your basic setup. Uh, and also if you want wallpaper, just right click your desktop and bam. You can change the wallpapers from here. All right, pretty simple system. Um, Euro Linux uh, it's based on a system that's usually most used for uh, system admins and things like that for uh, server management, like CentOS and things like that. But as you can see, you can put a desktop on it and use it also. But anyways, that's going to do it for this video. So uh, I'll catch you guys on the next one. And I'm out.